Hello and welcome to another support video of Nexus Teams. In this video I will explain how you can share several elements uh, between two sidebars, could be also different elements, but in this case two sidebars of your website, whereas other parts of that sidebar are not shared. So uh, let's take a look at the website of one of our clients who is building a website at this moment in time. There is two pages on the site for products. So in this case, there is a people counter to 2D product. Uh, so this is the page for it. And as you can see, there is various elements that are being used here. There is a title for the sidebar that, that's showing other products. And there is a video and the video should be specific for this page for this product which is being shown here. Whereas if I switch over to the other page, this is another product and this one should have the same reference to the other products and have a different video. So this video would be the video for this product. So how to accomplish this? Uh, the, the best thing you can do uh, would be to, to use uni content and a uni style for the specific elements that you want to repeat. So uh, simply, let me, uh, hover with my mouse over the, the various elements and uh, check the properties of those uh, of those widgets. Um, and let me first explain to you uh, what a good approach would be. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Let me just hover with my mouse over the widget here. So this is the top widgets that has our products. I will hit Ctrl C to copy uh, the widget. And if I go to the other page, uh, you can see I cannot paste the, the, the item in here, uh, otherwise I would overwrite the, the video. So I will drag a new row here on the top of the sidebar. There we go. And I will now paste the widget. So I'll hit Ctrl V for pasting that widget. Uh, what I need to do is to style the, uh, the first row such that the padding will be added. I'll put a padding of one, hit Okay, so this is the, 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 um, uh, the, the top widget. The next thing we would do is of course to repeat the same step for the other widget. So let me just hit Ctrl C for the next one. And then you will also see the problem that will occur if we afterwards change any of those values. Let me hit Ctrl V. So this is the first, the first top, the, the item here at the top. If you ever decide to make a change here, for example, by, by saying people counting technology, I don't know, uh, uh, B, putting the, the, the letter B. If I change it here, you can see it's, it's showing up here on this product page, but if I would refresh the page of the other product, it will not sync. There's no synchronization between the, the, the text value of this item here and the one that you see over there. And that's a little bit of, a bad thing because if you ever decide to make a change there you would have to repeat that whole step. So to solve that problem we can uh, and we should uh, uh, use a uni content concept. We should tag the content properties of this widget with a unique saying. So this would be, let me go open up the properties and go to the uni content section here. We can say the uni content of this one should be sidebar first product. This will be the tag for the content properties of this widget. Let me hit save. And after we, we have done so, all those properties that, that were uniquely put in this particular widget are now also shared in a, in a, a single space. And that single space, that single uh, piece of storage can be reused in this widget. So let me open up the properties of the, the widget on this page. And again, go to Unistyle and Uni Content. And uh, rather than storing the, the items here in, as a un, unique Uni Content, I can, I can now simply select the one. So this was the sidebar first product tag. If I select it um, and hit save, you can see it now automatically syncs. There's now a, a connection between this widget here and the widget over there. So at the moment I change the, the name of the title, for example, of this widget to, I don't know, um, uh, the, the, the letter C at the end. You can see it shows up here with the C. If I refresh the page on the other side, so this is the other product, you can see now this one also says C, so that's good. Let me change it back to how it used to be without the C and hit save. 
and you have to repeat this process for all the items that should be shared so let me repeat there's a total of four of these items that need to be shared you can also of course share the title that might also be a good thing so let me add an additional three rows on the sidebar there we go this is number one number two and the last one I will add is number three there we go and uh, simply let's also first make this one a uni content and let's go to the uni content section and say that this one should be persisted as um, a sidebar product two second product I, don't, I forgot the name of the the first one but let's let's just give it a name this one is now saved using that uni style if i now hit ctrl c for copying and afterwards paste the item it will also have pasted the uni content so if i make a change here it will also change it on the other uh, side let me show you how this works if i say abc and hit save you'll see here it now says abc if i refresh the page on the other page you can see this will also say abc here so they are also in sync now that's great let me change it back to how it used to be. So this is for the second one. We will also repeat the same steps for the third and the fourth uh, line of product. So this is uni content, and I will call this one sidebar um, product three. Hit save. Simply hit Control C to copy, and let's hit Control V to paste. So this one will also be in sync and let me hit refresh to get rid of the ABC because we changed it on the other page. There we go. So the last one, uh, first configure the uni content because it's not yet there. It's not yet configured. Go to uni content, say sidebar um, product uh, four. Hit save. Then hit control C for copying the widget, including the uni content and then hit control V here. Uh, uh, so that's the, the syncing of the elements here on, the, on the, the four products. The last thing I will do is to also sync the title because that, that might be a good idea too. I will go to the properties of the text widget, go to uni content and I will call this one um, uh, sidebar uh, title or maybe products title because it's a title for the top of the products that are being listed. I will hit save and again hit Ctrl C to copy it and paste it over here. So by using this technique all those elements in the sidebar that have that same uni content tag will sync their content throughout any page that will use that same sidebar. Whereas other elements, such as for example the video here, will not share the, that same content because this one should be a unique video for this particular page. Alright, I hope this was helpful. I hope by now you've learned how you can share particular content in, for example, a sidebar or other container elements of your website and also not share other parts that should not be shared. If you have any further questions on how to use this unique content feature or any of the other features of our themes, please do let us know because we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.